Okay. The drill, four things. The cannula, the needle, and the flush. Okay? So, let's talk about the drill. Really simple, huh? You press, it will go. Right? This is the needle. The needle has two parts to it. This will go into the patient. This will come out of the patient. Mm -hmm. Okay? So again, two steps. This will go into the patient. This will come out of the patient. Okay? So don't try to put the cannula here. It will not work. A lot of people, they do that. Okay? So the needle. So the needle goes into the drill. It's magnetic. So you don't have to touch it. It will go. It should go like this. Yeah? Okay? And then... Oh, I wanted to show them how to flush. <laughs> no problem. So, uh, I, I just put it there. No so here, this is the cannula. You've done a cannula before. This is the flush. You put the cannula onto the flush, and then you flush the cannula. Agreed? So where I will attach the uh, where I will attach the, uh, the the cannula? Through here or through here? Where it will be attached? It's here, right? Yeah. Okay. So now, now I have this. So this again. Remember, I told you this will go into the patient. Once it's in the patient, then I will remove. I will take this out of the patient, and this will be connected to the patient. Agree? Okay, so again, so it's a sharp, so be very careful. So it will be the same when it comes into your, our kit. Our kit is the same. Drill, the only thing you don't know, what's missing in the kit that we don't have? The, oh, sorry. What, what's missing? Remember I told you four parts. Drill, needle, cannula, what's flush, missing? Flush. The flash. Remember, so you will not have a flush. Whenever you bring the owl, you have to think about bringing... Can we keep flushes inside or they expire? Uh, we can. Yeah. So four parts, huh? All those four parts, okay? Okay, good. So now I've got this, I've got this, okay. Now you see the, the needles are a different color, yeah? Different Exactly. The needle, just like, you know, if you have 16, 18, 20, same. So you see you have three different colors, yeah? Blue, and the color is identified by the one that's coming out of the patient, yeah? So what, is, what do you recognize? Forget the color now. Is there any difference in the size of the needles? It's the size, right? It's smaller. So to way to remember it, because I, I, I don't like to remember a lot of things, I remember by the color. Coat pink, coat blue, coat fat. Okay, so people who are fat, they get this because fat, suitcase is yellow. Coat pink, little babies, and then coat blue, usually it's when it's an adult, because the needle is blue. So coat pink, coat blue, coat fat. Okay? So you see the needle is very small. So in a tiny person, usually like until one year old, you can put this one. Okay? After that, most of, so you don't want to, because what will happen if you pierce, you will go through and through. You don't want to go through and through. So for children, I think this is until what, 10 kgs? 3 to 13 kg. Yeah, so this is until 40 kg, you see? So usually I don't go above 20 kg. 20 kg, I will move to something else, okay? But the coat pink, when it's a child arresting, most of the time, it will be coat pink. When it's an adult arresting, you will use the code blue needle. When it's a fat person arresting, code yellow. And if you're really not sure, you can always look at the look at this. Most of the time, most of the children, I'll always use the pink needle. The newborns always, and then in adult, I've always used this one. I've never had to go and, and use the big one. Okay? Okay. So understood for the sizes, yeah? And you've got all three sizes in there. So needle again, four pieces: drill, needle, cannula, and flush. So I will get my stuff ready, okay? Now it will become like this. So what I will do, I'll take the flush, I prepare it, I hook it, I force, I screw it, and I flush. It should take 30 seconds to do. And everybody will get to practice. Yes? Okay, so now I've identified my landmark. Now I will drill. This is very important. A lot of people, they go in and they drill like it's... You don't go in and you drill, okay? Because you will damage the bone. What you have to do is that you have to hold your landmark, okay? So I said tibial tuberosity, one finger breath, and I will hold, and what I will do, I will hold it, and first I will secure the needle in the bone. Once the needle is in the bone, it's not moving, then I drill. So the, I don't go in drilling. I secure, and then I drill. It's very important, because a lot of people, what will happen, is that they will drill, and the needle will go left, right, and center. So it's very important. Oh, can I take this out, you see? Are you want to take it out now? Yeah. Yes, no problem. Yes. Ah, it's okay, no problem. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you see, my needle is very well taught in the bone. That means it's done. Because a lot of people, they will drill, and then the, it will go away from the, the patient. So again. 
So don't be, a lot of people are excited and they come in and they do this and then they do, they do this and then it goes anywhere. <laughs> no, it's very true. I've yeah, seen I, it. I agree. You, you secure, you fix the needle into the bone. Once you hit a block, then you drill. Then after that, remember, the drill will come out. Khalas, you're done with the drill. Remember, this will go out of the patient because if you... And what, what sharp? You put the sharp somewhere, you secure your sharp. I'm sorry. And then this will go into the patient. Yes? You can ask for it. Is it necessary to always get something back? No. If you get something back, it's great. If you don't, it's not the end of the world. Okay? Don't expect to see a gush of blood. Don't expect to get, you know, I don't know, brain coming out of there. Nothing will come out. If it comes out great, it doesn't come the end. Then after that, you hold and you push. Okay? And that's it. This is a functional IO uh, cannula. You can put epi, you can put blood, you can put amiodarone, you can put whatever you want. You can put uh, alcohol in this, whatever you want, it will go through. Okay? Now, there are a few cases what, what, what we've seen is that things to avoid is that the needle is not secured and people flush and then you see extravasation. It should not extravasate. That means you're not in the bone. The needle has to be sitting in the bone marrow so it goes up to the vasculature. If it's sitting outside because people they and then they don't secure it, it will go outside. You will flush, you will see extravasation. That means you're flushing, all you give to the child, the skin is like a big leg. It will not, nothing will work. So it's very important whenever you secure the I.O., whenever you flush it, if you don't get anything back, no problem. If you get, great. But you should not, when you push, you should not get extravasation. Extravasation, no problem. You take it out, you try again. No issues. But don't try to waste your time. Oh, is this really infiltrated? You don't have time. If you think it's infiltrated, it's probably infiltrated. Okay? All right. So let's practice. Any questions?